come come sit here hey today hmm, i want to tell you how i recovered from my financial mistakes in my late 40s hey my friend i will tell you more about that but um if you're here for the first time i encourage you to stick here please subscribe like comment let's let me hear if you have also been in a space like mine and uh, just to give you an orientation when you land on this channel what happens here we have two things that happen here every week on wednesdays and fridays i am here and on fridays like today we do what we call the finance friday so we are sort of we just talk about issues around money issues about finances and i am big on women and money because you know been there done that you know made all the mistakes but by the grace of god um, you know recovered from those mistakes then um in 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 on on wednesdays we have what we call the biblical uh, biblical success principles somebody was telling me i should call it biblical success ministry oh, i don't know whether to call it ministry but anyway biblical we we look at biblical success principles because we are living here financial lives are very intertwined in many other in many other areas i mean there is there is you know it, it, financial our financial lives are not isolated they are intertwined in many other areas i mean there is relationship there is even spiritual journey you know our career life and we get a lot of a lot of um, inspiration from the from the bible from the word of god i and so i i like to sort of you know make reference to that as we go through this whole journey um so what i do on wednesdays is we of course look at the bible and we look at you know what's what's what are we hearing from the bible that can help us in our lives but also when i see something that zooms into our financial lives i am because i am a financial coach i'm always willing to say okay how do i pick so i have a i'm always like looking you know like opening my eyes to see and to look so that then i can um, you know bring those uh, those nuggets to you as as the holy spirit of course enables me so i want to welcome you by the way uh, on wednesdays we have been going through what i call the ride through genesis so we have picked the book of genesis and we are going through that book and it's very very interesting with very interesting nuggets that are coming through that are of course helpful in our in our in our journey as as human beings in our journey as christians you know all that and on fridays there is of course a, a lot of stuff that we do also on friday i know if you go to the we have i think a playlist around the levels of financial freedom we have a playlist on um, i think there's another there's a, you know if you go to the playlist you will find them in fact i have even shared uh, i'm i mean one of the playlists has about i think 14 videos which sort of documents my season my 2018 season of 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 mistakes and if you go to that series of videos these are videos that i i actually did uh, recorded on facebook so they were not necessarily like youtube youtube videos but i did them i recorded my story um on on facebook um and so i just pulled out those videos and and brought them into to youtube to just complete the story so i thought about um this 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 series today we are going to have a four part series and i thought you know sometimes it's good to say okay how did you recover because my 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 recovery journey um has been very uh what would i say i mean i have i have seen god in terms of how i have been able to recover from you know the mess that i was in in terms of my 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 the, the things that i did you know so from my from my issues in 2018 because i had lots of issues and i encourage you to go actually if you i mean if you please find the time just go through it's a i have given a 14 part series on everything that happened i actually ran into a i i i, I got myself in the hands of you know a scammer lost money uh went through you know very difficult uh, season in my life uh spiritually you know relationship wise basically and that's why i'm saying that money is not just a nice i mean the financial our financial lives are not an isolated piece it's it's a connected piece of our other areas of life our relationship our spiritual you know life our you know our career life you know so there's 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 a bit of there's not a bit there is a significant connection and that's why if you if you have like even for people who are in career who are in employment if if your financial peace is not okay there's a there's a very high likelihood that you will not also perform at work i mean there's a very close uh, correlation between you know financial mismanagement and being in a financial pit or mess with 
performance so when you're not when you're not okay when your finances are not going well when things are you know when you're in holes when you're you know going through difficulties in your financial life it's very easy for you to have challenges in your relationships it's also very easy to have challenges in your in your in your spiritual journey in your spiritual life and it's also very easy to have challenges in your career in your in your health you know i mean so there's a very i mean it's like a web you know there's a very close relationship and so um i think you know that's why i sort of i am very inspired to actually like reference the word of god because then when we reference the word of god we are able to actually sort of pick the pieces and pick the nuggets that help us in our other areas of life even as we reform even as we seek to transition to tran- to transform uh, our financial our financial lives because that's you know god has called me in the ministry if i would say if i could call it ministry or in the in the in the journey in the assignment my dominion my my kingdom assignment is around you know helping women to take charge of their financial future and that's something i do with a lot of passion as a coach so and and the reason i do it is because been there done that i know what it means i know the kind of mess one can can get in and so for me i i i look at you know i do not I, I sort of want to catch you before you you land into the mess i want to catch you before you land into the mess so by sharing my story i share my story i share my the information that i that i have i share you know my own journey because perhaps it may it may become a mirror for you it may help you to sort of you know see some of the things that may be happening in your life but most importantly to learn lessons from me so that you don't go through what i went through so again i invite you go to that playlist on uh, it i actually i think i called it the forex come in kenya or something that's that's if you click the first video you will see all the other videos in that series so yes 2018 i suffered a major blow in my life in my financial life um but that was not the only blow i think there were you know there were things that followed there after that uh, you know are are you know are also uh, that were also quite intriguing in terms of everything that happened in my life but the issue is um fine so uh-huh, all that happened and then so what what happened you know how did you recover i think that is a, that is a more interest the, the the interesting part or the the one that probably inspires is how i recovered and and so i have i have decided that uh, i will do a four part series and in this four part series where we're beginning today where i'll just say what how did i recover you know from from that mess of 2018 and the messes that followed thereafter because after my 28 mess 2018 mess i entered into another phase of a serious mess uh, in terms of significant um, loss of money i lost a lot of money but then um you know on my 47th birthday i always say that my 47th birthday was my damascus moment so basically i i would say that i started my recovery journey in my late 40s and so the question is how did i do that now today's part 1 we are going to talk about confronting the truth because for me my recovery journey started from the from the point i confronted the truth and i confronted the truth on two occasions actually Now when my fiasco happened in 2018 uh, as you will of course listen in that in the playlist that I have pointed you to when when in I think it was around October of 2018 because everything happened from let me say from April or from January yes from April to April to, to to around October 2018 and of course going going into 2019 but i think for me the the possibility of confronting the truth and that's what i am talking about confronting the truth i i i confronted the first the first bit of the truth in 2018 and in 2018 october and and for me the, that that was that that whole thing of sitting down and saying but wait a minute what is the truth what is my truth what is my truth about this whole thing because i had gone through a very a series of very difficult challenges both in my relationships in my spiritual journey i in at work i mean i was i, w- I was in a very lonely space um, i must say and so um as i was going through all that as as i was you know ref- I w- as i was you know shouldering the mountain of 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 the challenge that was that was you know confronting me on all aspects of my life the one thing that i had to sit down i remember in my compound there's a there's a there's a there's a branch or is it a branch there's a there's a tree there's a, it's not really a tree is it a tree anyway some something some something so one day i came from um, my morning walk and i sat there and i said you know what well, as i went to work as i went to, to for the walk i came back and i said you know what 
I have got to confront the truth of everything that happened. So the first the first season was for me to and, and as I'm saying I confronted the truth on two on two perspectives. So there was that 2018 confronting the truth. And how I confronted the truth was to say, you know what, I am going to be open and go public about this issue. Because I I, I am in a hole. I'd rather just say, okay, you know what? I am raising my hand. My friends, this is the hole that I am in. So I, I confronted the truth and I was able to act. And that's how, by the way, I recorded that, that series, that playlist that I'm pointing you to. That's how I recorded all those 14 videos. And I sat and I said, you know what? I am going to tell the world the story as it unfolded. Because sometimes when the truth is not known, it's very easy for people to judge you. And it's very easy for you to sort of, you know, sink in the mountain of judgment. You, you will sink in the mountain of judgment and if you're not strong enough, if you're not, if you do not have the inner strength, it's very easy for you to sort of collapse. And as we are saying, financial lives and if we do things that are not, you know, if things happen in our financial lives, they, they could affect our health, they could affect, I mean, we have seen people crash on account of their of of the of the challenges that confront them in the in their financial journey or even in their relationship journey we have seen people collapse you know total as in their health becomes completely uh, you know collapsed and so by the grace of god i i didn't get there and um, but but i know that if it were not really for the grace of god i would have gotten there because i used to suffer insomnia at that time i mean i would never sleep Totally. I mean, as in, I wouldn't find sleep. I would cry all the time. I was, I was, I was actually just a walking. I was, I was depressed, but just trying to put on a serious, a strong face. But um, I was, I was in really under a, a serious mountain. So first step I did was to confront the truth. And I said, you know what? Confronting the truth of exactly what happened. Yes, people have a different version, have their own version, because of course, you know, things were spoken. A lot of things were spoken during that season. But, um, you know, some, some truth, others not truth. And, uh, you know, for the, uh, the significant amount of that, of, of everything that was spoken was, was of course, uh, not true. So I said, First things first, can I just confront the truth and tell the truth as it is? And I was able to actually gain the courage and say, you know what? I am going to tell the truth because the truth, you know, the Bible says, you know, the truth shall set you, you know, say the truth and the truth shall set you free. And that's what I did. I And after that moment of confronting the truth in 2018, I actually felt you know, a surge of energy. And I was like, yes, now I have told my truth. I told my truth in a 14, you know, in, I told my truth in two ways. I wrote a book, The Unbeatable Spirit. And after I wrote that book, I then, uh, I, and then of course, so it, it all came together, writing my book, but also the, the videos and just, you know, beginning to share exactly what happened piece by piece by piece by piece, because that was my truth, nothing to hide. And I remember, um, you know, I, 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 I also did, uh, you know, I was, I was in the, pr in the place of saying, you know what, this is the truth. This is my truth. Other people might have their truths, but this is my truth. And when I did, and when I did that uh, first confronting that that place of confronting the truth in 2018 October, actually I did October is when of course I came out, and then on from January 2019 is when I I did the videos and everything. And as I was doing that process, as I was going through that process, it was actually a healing for me because remember I had nobody to tell the truth, perhaps except for maybe my 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 family, my own family, my husband, and you know my children were still very young at that time, but. That, that was the only person I could tell the truth. I mean, you know, the world, the world had totally, you know, shut, shut, shut their ears on me. And even my own friends, they had completely shut my ears on me. So I was, I was a very, it was a very lonely space. But as I continued to tell the truth, as I continued to confront the truth, I began to actually light up. I began to light up. I began to actually feel the confidence. I began to actually feel, yes, I have informed the I have talked about my truth. I have talked about my truth. And because I have talked about my truth, it is now out there. It is for people to judge. It is for people to make their own judgment about, about this whole matter. But the truth is out there. It is there from the bottom of my heart. This was the truth. And that's it. So that is where, and, and I, think, I think for me, I felt that is how I found the liberation. 
So I liberated myself and, um, and, and, and that was it. So that's one of the ways in which I, that's one of the routes I used to recover from my, from my financial mistakes. Then thereafter, um, because <laughs> after suffering the 2018 ordeal and, and, um, and, and going through a difficult season and, and desiring in a very strong way to, pay the investors who lost their money and please just you may not understand what i'm saying but if you if you follow if you go to that playlist you will understand what i'm saying so i i i jumped you know it's like the way we say jumping from the frying pan to the fire i jump from the flying pan to the fire you know and so i went through the fire of a i i became a forex trader and man oh my goodness oh ooh, ooh, the losses were out of this world I was actually looking at uh, my my diary the other day. I even posted on Facebook. My goodness, I am telling you, I lost money. I lost money, 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 money. I lost, I lost, I lost. And so I went through that that loss. I went through that loss, and then after I think it was around July 2020, the the final nail, the thing that sort of just made me mm -mm, this one, no way. It was I I remember losing. I think I lost. 1.7 million on the same day of of uh, you know in a trade in trades in a series of trades but anyway and of course I must admit let me let me declare here that I was a risky trader true true story I was a risky trader but it was it was in the process of just trying to recover and you so so in the speed of trying to recover in and I wanted to recover in a short time it, you know so I I sort of just went amok and. Oh my goodness, the losses were out of this world. Anyway, after I did my loss in twenty in twenty twenty, uh, I jumped into another business. <laughs> my goodness, oh Jesus! I jumped into another business, which again, uh, okay, a little bit of recovery, but not complete recovery. But then it was also another challenging season because you know it was during, of course, the the COVID season. So you know when you're trying in and in a new business, you know everything, but. You know, then I had a bit of challenges with my business partner at that time. So, so it was always it was like fire to fire to fire to fire. You know, and the 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 truth now the real truth that I confronted was on the on the night of my forty seventh birthday. I sat on my blue seat in my sitting room. I have a blue seat in my sitting room, like this one. Okay, not like this one, but anyway, blue. I sat there and I said, now. Where am I? Can I can I just locate where I am? It, because it looks like I am completely lost. So again, that was another season and another another time to confront the truth. So I said, eh, hey, Lucy, I called myself Lucy Waboy Gedaiga. Sit down. I sat down. And I was looking at the truth of where I was. I looked at my debt portfolio. Of course, it was high. <laughs> I looked at my savings, nothing. There was zero there. I looked at my investments; they were kind of scanty. I looked at, I looked at, I looked at. I, I just confronted my financial truth at that point, and it was, yeah, I don't like what I see. What I see, this, this thing here, I don't like it, right? But in as far, in as much as I don't like it. At least this is the truth. This is the truth of what I have. This is my. This is what I have. This is what. This is what is there now. This is. This is my current situation. On my forty seventh birthday, this is what I have. And remember, I did my my forty seventh birthday came on twentieth uh, September twenty twenty. So it was at the height of COVID. And because it was at the height of COVID, um, organizations at that time. I mean, there was a scare of you know we could lose our jobs because. You know, I mean, with with COVID, you know, we know you know that there are many people who lost their their job. So I was I was there feeling very worried and scared about the fact that yes, I could lose a job. Number one, in the event that you know donors, I was working for an NGO. In the event that donors, you know, sort of divert their attention to supporting, you know, uh, you know, COVID and what have you. So I was I was I, it was very scary. But then I think for me the the important thing was okay. What is my truth? This is my truth. This is where things are. This is where things are, Maze. This is this is how things are. But and and as I did that, and, and I would want to say that, you know, the thing that also helped me in the first season, in the first phase of confronting the truth in 2018, what I was led to do in that in that season, and I'll be talking about in the next video, is um is 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 forgiving because I had to 
when I confronted the truth, I had to say, okay, how did I get here? And I had to take responsibility for how I got there. And taking responsibility meant that first I needed to forgive myself and to say, you know what, Lucy? Lucy, look at the mirror. I looked at the mirror and I said, Lucy, I forgive you. I forgive you because if you had known, if you had known better, you definitely would have done things differently. So there was a moment of confronting the truth. There was a moment of forgiving myself. And there was also a moment of forgiving others. Because in this journey, there were those that, of course, came along. You know, in one of the, I think in one of the videos I have talked about, in one of the Wednesday videos, I have talked about doubt planters. So so I got myself in, in you know, in circles that uh, obviously, you know, fell in the hands of, of a scammer, fell in the hands of people who... You you know, wrong business partners. So I had to forgive myself and forgive them as part of that process of confronting the truth. So sort of just emptying myself, you know, emptying myself and saying, okay, I have, this is confronting the truth. And that was the beginning of my recovery journey. So today we will reach there, um, that part one of confronting the truth. And uh, I continue to encourage you to stay here. Please subscribe, share, like, you know, tell me, uh, let let me hear from you. Have you found yourself in a situation where you are feeling that your, your financial world is in a dark space? And what did you do about it? The point is, it is possible to actually recover. And I think I am a testimony that you can recover. And so until next Friday, let's keep talking. Um, next Friday, we'll be talking about, we'll be, we'll be talking about the same series. So we'll be talking about part two, which is um, seeking knowledge. So until next Friday, see you. And please remember Wednesday, let's keep going through that as well. Um, keep enjoying. Asante.